and welcome to our webinar on the Albira system, a revolutionary pet spec CT combination. My name is Seth Gammon, and I'm the global product manager for the Invivo systems here at CareStream Molecular Imaging. Uh, Carlos Salvador is with us, who is the Albira project director at Ontovision. I'd like to take a second to introduce who CareStream Health is. We are a multi-billion dollar global company with over 7,000 employees that was formed whenever Kodak Healthcare Group was spun off. We are a world leader in medical imaging, including medical imaging technologies like risks and tacts, as well as x-ray systems, non-destructive testing, and what we're going to be talking about today, molecular imaging. We have thousands of knowledgeable employees who serve our customers throughout the world in more than 150 countries, and we hold more than 1,000 patents uh, and intellectual property. Our products are at use in more than 90% of the hospitals and dental practices around the world, and we're an innovator in preclinical digital imaging with thousands of customers worldwide. We're headquartered in Rochester, New York, but we have locations to serve our customers throughout the world. Our vision is to change the landscape of healthcare for future generations by providing solutions that dramatically improve the quality and cost of care through both clinical imaging as well as preclinical imaging. In order to facilitate that, we also provide global service and support for our customers. Our service personnel are located for timely response to keep you and your products at peak performance. I'd like to focus for our to provide scientists in both basic life science research, drug discovery and development, and translational preclinical research with the tools they need to effectively image and understand fundamental biological processes in living organisms. These include both uh, molecular imaging products for in vivo applications, in vitro applications, imaging agents, and film. With the addition of the Albira system, we can now offer our customers seven powerful imaging modalities for their in vivo research. First, we have our flagship multispectral uh, in vivo FX which provides rapid, highly resolved 2D imaging, including fluorescence, luminescence, radioisotopic, and radiographic imaging of small animals such as mice and rats. And with aid of 3D tomographic imaging, including now positron emission tomography, or PET, single photon emission computed tomography, or SPECT, and X-ray computed tomography, or CT. So why would a researcher be interested in utilizing combination PET spec CT system? One reason is that they may require tools to more readily bridge the gap between preclinical research and clinical research. A PET spec and CT system offers them a unique opportunity to bridge this gap because the radio tracers that are utilized in a preclinical imaging system are already often utilized in clinical settings. Indeed, clinical PET, SPEC, and CT systems are at use throughout the world for both clinical diagnostics and for monitoring therapy. Thus, a researcher, their new molecules, their new predictive biomarker, and a small animal using the same probes and the same technology that can then be used in the clinic. Thus, it will shorten the gap between moving your research from mice to men. People who are studying fundamental biological processes or basic scientists also gain significant knowledge from utilizing a PET spec and CT system. <coughs> PET and SPECT are, offer very precise quantification of biological processes in three dimensions in a live animal. Because this is non-destructive, one can also then take this quantitative data and study it in the same animal over and over and over again in a longitudinal study. Thus, you gain the true history of your biological process. These types of acceptor ligand binding assays or in vivo enzyme kinetics, particularly kinases, 
You can precisely quantify metabolic processes in an animal, for example, the uptake and distribution of sugar analogs, acetate, as well as looking at changes in blood flow and perfusion. One can also track cells in vivo in three dimensions by pre-labeling cells with a radio tracer or labeling these cells with a genetically encoded reporter that may overexpress, for example, uh, a mutant herpes simplex virus by amine kinase, and then track where it goes by following up imaging with FAP labeled FHBG or FIAU. One could also track pharmacokinetics of a novel lead compound that a chemist has developed. Uh, they can image the biodistribution of this compound in real time in three dimensions, quantify how much of that molecule reaches us, and then follow up and quantify the effects of maybe this compound or some other novel compound on a target or non-target tissue. For example, one could image uh, a mouse with F18 labeled uh, FDG to look at metabolism in a tumor versus a normal site and then watch how the uh, tumor loses its metabolism, hopefully, with a specific drug that will kill the tumor versus a normal target tissue. So now we'll get a little bit more into physically what is the Albira system, how does it work, and why is it different than anything else that's out there. We can see the Albera system here. It's available in the same shell and compact footprint in six configurations. It comes in standalone PET, standalone SPEC, standalone CT, bimodal PET CT, bimodal SPEC CT, or trimodal PET SPEC CT. Importantly, it's fully upgradable all within the same footprint. You can go from a standalone system to bimodal or trimodal, all without having to change the footprint. One of our field engineers will simply come in, install the upgrade into the system, and then you'll be ready to go. There are also choices around the pet detector itself. You can choose from one, two, or three detector rings, or increased field of view and sensitivity. In addition, you can choose a spec with a choice of gamma cameras based on needs for sensitivity and resolution. Here's a peek inside the system. Up front, we have the pet zones. There's the one, two, or three detector rings I was talking about before. Camera is hidden behind there. One of the things that makes the Albira system completely different from everything out there on the market is our revolution in pet detection technology. All the other detectors out there utilize pixelated crystals with dead zones. Each uh, similar crystal is then hooked up to an individual wire that then counts the simulation events. That leads to problems, for example. If a 511 KEV photon enters and runs into a dead zone, that event is not detected and that data is lost. If an event comes in and interacts with this crystal at the top, you get an event. If this photon comes in and interacts with this crystal closer to the photo detector, differentiate those two things. That is the depth of interaction problem. So the question is, how do you overcome the depth of interaction problem? Well, one, you can make tighter packing of your pixelated crystals, which yield more dead zones, which would then yield decreased sensitivity, or you can make the detectors larger. Many systems are already very large, and thus scaling these even larger could create a behemoth-like uh, system that are out there. So the question arose, is there a way to break out of this um, conundrum? The answer is the Aldera detector technology. We offer an exclusive combination of single crystal detector, position-sensitive photomultiplier tube, or PSPMT, and advanced detector electronics. It into the crystal, interacts, causes a light cascade, 
the position sensitive photo multiplier to then detect all of the light at the detector. If another 511 KEV photon comes in, it'll do the same thing. However, note this. In this system, if the photon enters the crystal and gets detected high up, the final footprint of the light is very wide. That's intuitive. If it interacts much lower, the footprint of that light is very small. So the Albera system says, okay, I know where in XY this event occurred, but what I really want to know is also the depth of interaction or the Z position of this photon. So we utilize the standard deviation of this light to calculate the depth of interaction. And it works on that principle we just talked about. Smaller footprint means deeper interaction. Larger footprint means higher interaction. It's just that easy. This allows us to get very accurate head images with exceptional sensitivity without dead zones, crystal packing variability, or the requirement to scale the system by you know, making the detector more dense. So the real question is, what does any of this do for me in my images? Here's an example of an F-18 Phantom. One can see that the, the photons, the PET signal is heavily weighted to the center of the image. There's also not particularly good resolution between the wells. However, whenever the depth of interaction is corrected, you get a completely different image here, and you get much nicer resolution between the wells in both the coronal and the sagittal slices. Now that I've talked about one of the key features of the system, we're going to dive a little deeper into the physical system itself. In other words, how does it work? What do you get? On the left, we have the animal management system, which includes an MRI-compatible bed for either mice or rats. It's a temperature-regulated environment and includes very robust and precise motion control so that the system can accurately and reproducibly drive that animal into the pet zone and to the spec CT zone. The pet system we'd already briefly mentioned before, here you see it again. It comes in one, two, or three detector rings. Each ring has eight of those single crystal PSPM exceptional resolution of less than 1.1 millimeters, which includes our novel depth of interaction measurement to correct those images for the parallax error. And with a three ring system, it offers a very large field of view of up to 148 millimeters by 80 millimeters for doing whole body biodistributions all at once in a PET system, rather than having to take sequential images. The SPEC system is located behind the PET system. It comes with two gamma cameras that are also made from that single crystal detector technology. There's a choice of two detectors, an S108 or an S102 camera. Uh, the S108 has increased sensitivity and resolution and the choice of single or multi-pinhole collimators that come with the system. The camera then rotates around the animal. The camera's into your mouse subject for getting the best quality spec images. The CT system, there's the detector, there is the x-ray source. It offers a robust 90 micron resolution with a 30 micron x-ray, 35 micron x-ray spot size, and that resolution is easily uh, good enough to image the very small bones in a mouse. The x-ray source is 10 to 50 kVp. Those lower energies are optimized for small animal images. If you have too high of an energy, you can blow right through the small bones in your mouse. And the CT detector, is a robust 2D 12 centimeter by 12 centimeter 4 megapixel uh, digital detector. Located below the whole thing are the electronics core. It includes an embedded, embedded dedicated acquisition computer. The dedicated PET electronics boards are located there as well. 
and it provides easy access for maintenance and an advanced air cooling system so you don't have to have special ductwork built into your room. One of the other key features of this system is the very small footprint that the system was designed with. It comes in a compact size, 2.2 meters by 0.9 meters. It was designed to actually fit into an imaging lab. That's less than half the size of the other competitors, leading competitors out there, and it's upgradable to bimodal or trimodal with the same footprint. You don't have to dock uh, systems on any other systems onto it. It's a field upgrade into the instrument. The footprint remains the same. The lab doesn't need to be rearranged. So now we'll dive a little deeper into it provides you, the customer, with excellent spatial resolution of less than 1.1 millimeters due to our accurate measurement of depth of interaction that, that not only provides that good spatial resolution, but makes the image a lot clearer and a lot more accurate as we talked about before. The image quality is also improved due to the energy resolutions this system offers. The energy resolution is 14%, so we can do a better job of rejecting lower energy scattering photons that uh, can corrupt your image, your nice pet image. In the axial field of view with the three ring system can be up to 148 millimeters by 148 uh, by 80 millimeters. And that allows you to do whole body biodistributions without moving the animal, including automatic image fusion so that you have a nice anatomical map for your uh, molecular pet image. The CT system offers sensitivity of up to 1,000 counts per second per megabeck and exceptionally high spatial resolution of up to 0.6 millimeters with the S108 camera and single pinhole configuration. It offers a very broad energy range, 30 to 400 keV, for imaging multiple different types of isotopes, and main energy resolution of 14% so that you can do dual isotope imaging in the spec system as well. The acquisition times are very fast with acquisitions below 30 minutes with 60 projections and equally fast reconstruction times below 5 minutes. The CT system offers accurate, quantitative, and precise CT measurement that's easily fused with your molecular images. The data is fully quantifiable and presented in Hunsfeld units for accurate measurements of, uh, of x-ray density, be it in a bone or soft tissue. It provides spatial resolution, not voxel size, spatial resolution of up to 90 microns. And it has a transaxial and axial field of view of up to 70 millimeters. Image reconstruction is done with a Feldkamp algorithm in around a minute. The other key thing about the CT system is that with the Albira, you can get one-click acquisition of PET CT images or SPEC CT images. It's very easy to use. The code registration is fully automated for you. You don't have to fuse these images by hand. The molecular data that you get from your pet respect image quite readily onto your CT image. However, if one needs more anatomical uh, information that might be provided, for example, by small animal MRI, the animal beds are made to be completely MRI compatible, and researchers have proven with a previous generation system that you can fuse your images from our PET system with the anatomically rich MRI data that you get out of small animal MRI, as you can see at the right. Furthermore, you don't have to look outside the system for software to do the code registration. This is provided using the Fusion uh, module of the PMOD software package, which is provided standard with the Albira system. So now that I've mentioned instrument, it comes with three software uh, 
systems, the Albira Suite, PMOD, and Volvia. The Albira Suite contains an acquirer module that has everything you need for data acquisition, including those single-click multimodal acquisitions. It comes with a reconstructor, which is where you do your uh, tomographic reconstruction. It has settings for both uh, standard user and advanced users, as well as batch mode reconstruction uh, options, so that you can, if you build up a large data set and just haven't had time to get it reconstructed, you can batch throw them all into the reconstructor and then have them all reconstructed. It comes with a manager for managing your both your data, system configuration, as well as your experiments. The Albira Suite also comes with system quality control, making sure that your system is up and running peak performance all the time, as well as calibration tools. The PMOD software package is provided <coughs> excuse me, for quantifying those nice molecular images that you get out of PET Spectra CT. It also provides nice three-dimensional image viewing. You can do image fusion, as we talked about, in order to fuse images between PET and MRI, as well as not only volume of interest analysis, but also actually kinetic modeling within a volume of interest if you do a dynamic study. Volview is also provided with the software package. That is provided so that you can get out very high quality image rendering and simple multimodal overlays. Thus, whenever you get that stunning image that's going to get you the cover of nature, you can render it and make it look its best in Volvia. So really, in summary, what do you get out of the software package? One of my favorite thing is the single-click multimodal acquisitions and reconstructions. It's great. You click the button once, you do the PET CT image. You can then take that image into the reconstructor, click Start Reconstruction, and it just goes. You have a comprehensive suite of administrative tools so that you can assign user privileges so that one person uh, can work on one project Another person can work on something else. The whole thing is designed to be simple. Every screen has everything that you need to accomplish the task in that screen. As quickly as possible, thus it comes with optimized, proprietary, and fully parallelized reconstruction algorithms that are built in and ready to go. Again, you have the automated multimodal image fusion of your PET CT images or your SPEC CT images. The PMOD software allows you to do complex tasks like kinetic modeling, including Monte Carlo simulations, to get at the parameters. And there's a dedicated uh, computer for acquisition, reconstruction, and a data storage device so that you have maximum throughput on your whole workflow. In other words, if I'm imaging my mice, I can also be reconstructing the previous mouse, and I won't tie up either computer. With it, the other question then is, well, what kind of service and support can I expect with this instrument? Well, you can expect and will get excellent customer service and technical support. You have a choice of service plans that will fit your needs, including premium service, basic service and preventative maintenance plans. We'll offer site preparation uh, and consulting services to ensure a successful installation. All right, we have professional service and personnel who are dedicated to making sure that it gets installed, calibrated, and your users are trained and ready to use the instrument. Afterward, our service personnel are trained for timely response to keep your research up and running uh, max, at maximal capacity. We don't want your research uh, to suffer. We want you to always be running full speed all the time. 
We offer a variety of training options that are customized for end users, including on-site training, Albira dedicated workshop programs, and dedicated application support and development. So how might you use the system? The real big thing that a pet spec CT system delivers to your research is quantitative three-dimensional tomography imaging for complex studies like pharmacokinetics and pharmacokinetics, metabolic studies, kinetic modeling within a volume of interest, enzyme activities in vivo, protein binding assays, tumor and stem cell tracking, and dynamic gene expression uh, studies. The great thing about all of this, these are non-destructive technologies, so you can do all of these studies longitudinally. One can also track tumors. Here's an example of a tumor being detected and quantified using uh, FDG. Besides simple uh, orthotopic tumor models, one can look at more complex things. Here is an example of a ocular tumor where they were able to see in a uh, small animal this tumor by MRI. But the question remains always how metabolically active are different parts of this tumor. By performing a PET image, they were able to nicely delineate that the tumor was in fact uh, was in fact metabolically active, and then by fusing that image with the MRI, they now have the complete story about that tumor. <clears throat> cardiology are available in clinical cardiology are very nicely available for uh, preclinical cardiology experiments. One can look at changes in the metabolism of the heart, for example, in this pet study in rats or mice, in different genetic backgrounds, one can look at different treatment options, a whole variety of different studies, and then, using the same tools, inform the clinician about the results of your data. One can also utilize this type of system for aging and metabolic studies. And I will show this because it highlights the precise quantification of this type of system and what you can really get out of a quantitative two-dimensional longitudinal study. This group was using a, a previous generation Albira system in a model of uh, accelerated aging. So here you can visually see that there is significantly decreased glucose uptake over time within an animal in the brain. However, that's only part of the story. It's not just about having a nice image. The other key is how well can I actually quantify these changes. So here they quantified those changes over time as glucose consumption percent injected dose, and we're able to see a very precise decrease in glucose consumption over time. Those changes were successfully correlated to changes in reactive oxygen species, and which is also a known player in the aging process. One can also look at functional brain imaging. You can do something simple like look at the bone structure of the skull in your uh, small animal, for example, in the head of a rat. With a PET study, one can look at changes in uh, metabolism during seizures. This is an example from Dr. Pozo's lab where they looked at uh, changes in FDG pet uptake uh, in a rat model. So in summary, what, do you, what does one get with an Albira system? Number one thing, you get exceptionally high resolution and superior image quality due to our revolutionary single crystal pet detection technology. Why is it high resolution? Why do you get better image quality? <clears throat> because we have a very novel way to calculate the depth of interaction, thus overcoming parallax error, which is always a problem in small animal pet imaging. We have rapid multimodal acquisition reconstruction with the proprietary electronics standard ready to use, but if you
you need to adapt them to your research, that's not a problem either. We have powerful quantification and dynamic analysis options, including high, highly accurate location and volume of interest measurements enabled by the supplied PMOD software. You can get precise assessments of standard uptake values and have robust multi-parametric modeling of radio tracer kinetics in your, uh, in your system. Image fusion is automatic and easy. As we talked about before, the bed is fully MRI compatible, and the software allows you uh, to fuse your PET image with MRI. Again, the software suite is really user-friendly. It has modules specifically designed for acquisition, reconstruction, data management, and quality control. You won't find any legacy menus left over from, <coughs> from the clinic in the software suite. All of the protocols come ready to use, but they're also easy to customize. That includes those nice one-click multimodal acquisitions. The system is set up by a world-class service training and technical support team. There's, you have a choice of extended service packages so that you and your research are always at top performance. And whenever the system's installed, it comes with expert training for your users at all skill levels. The system itself is very compact. Again, it's designed to actually fit in a real researcher's imaging lab. It's modular. You can get what combination of PET spec CT you need today, and it's upgradable. You can upgrade. That's really the point is it's a true turnkey solution. It comes with everything you need to begin imaging. Complete installation, calibration, and training is also included. You'll be up and running and ready to go. So I'd like to thank you, and if you have any more information, please call toll-free at 1-877-747-7357 or visit us on the web at mi.carestreamhealth.com. Thank you very much.